Good morning, I'm George Argo with Argo Electrical Services and I am the Gainesville, Georgia electrician. This morning I would like to talk to you about this old panel. Now this is an electrical panel that utilizes breakers but it also utilized fuses. This was at the beginning of the age when we were starting to move out of fuse boxes and move into actual load centers as they're called today or electric panels. Now this guy's one we took out about a year ago, but anyway, we've already got it taken apart. The outside cover is off, and now I'm going to take the interior cover off to where we can see what is actually going on here. Now, today this would kind of be considered a commercial grade panel. As you can see, the breakers are all stabbed in here, um, and um, but it's a very heavy duty panel. This guy weighs about 90 pounds. Um, and uh, I've been in the hospital here lately, so it was quite a struggle for me to set it up here by myself. However, anyway, as you see, this is just like a, a normal panel that we would see today. You've got a neutral bar up top. And this guy is separated from the actual can itself, and it's separated from the hot wires. However, you can remove it and make it bonded. Now... We've got our, our normal breakers here. you got a two-pole 50, two-pole 30, a couple more two-pole 30s. Um, there was actually four air conditioning units on the property where this came out of. And then you got numerous 15-amp uh, breakers that would be fed or would feed uh, number 14 uh, gauge wires, which would carry 14 amps, and I mean 15 amps, and then the 20-amp breakers which would be um, feeding a number 12 Romex. Now, here we have what is the main. Now, in um, our last couple of videos, we talked about actually the code requiring at the meter base or in the panel itself in a residence or in a commercial property to have a main disconnect. A lot of people today want them on the outside. That way if the house is on fire or they have some kind of catastrophic accident, they can run right to the meter base and flip the breaker off. However, a lot of people utilize them inside the house. This one here had one in the actual panel. And this guy here is fused. And you see it's got two 200 amp fuses in there. And what this guy does is, you know, they feed, they feed the two lines right here. If you look, you see, oh, here's one lug. Here's the other lug. There's your main neutral lug. Excuse me. This is the other neutral bar. And then the grounding bar was actually connected to this. And we still utilize this today. Um, you don't have isolated neutrals when, until you get into high dollar commercial properties where they have protected computer circuits and stuff like that. And it has to be isolated coming from the actual transformer. You will not find that in a residential setting. Anyway, this was just something that I thought was a piece of history. The name of this, uh, the brand of this panel was actually um, a Walker, Walker QO, CO anyway. It was a Walker panel. And, um, you know, I've been in the electrical industry for 30 years and I've never installed anything with the Walker name on it. So I was really interested in this guy. And anyway, we'll be back later with some other informational videos and also some instructional videos. Um, if you're interested in any of our services, we do anything residential, commercial, light industrial. We're in Northeast Georgia. Um, we're very reasonably priced. We give lifetime warranties on all our work. I got a great service group. We want your business. Give us a call. Once again, my name's George. All our information is below. Thanks and have a great day.